have the best luck ever because we're working here together and we have Sam Mendes with us and sir I must tell you your work has always been amazing I love the fact that you are a theater person and that you managed to make this happen here nothing like this had ever happened in Mexico did you know that really is that the case well it's pretty amazing I have to say I think it's the biggest premiere I've ever seen and it's it's completely feels like the premiere of this movie sometimes you go to premieres and it feels like it could be any film but look at everything here all the puppets the maquettes that were made for the movie and 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 all the people i mean it's it's tremendous sam we saw the movie yesterday night we were blown away by it uh, but i was thinking what motivates you to be part of this complicated mission as to direct a james bond film well, you know, I fell in love with it when I was a kid. I think lots of kids fall in love with it. And um, when the moment came when my good friend Daniel Craig suddenly played it, I became excited in it again as an adult and trying to combine my 12-year-old self and my adult self as a director. That's what motivated me to make the film, to do something that could appeal to children and adults and uh, my own son. Uh, and it's been an amazing adventure, you know, a great privilege to be five years making these two amazing journeys. Which could be your favorite James Bond film besides the one that you have directed? Uh, I think my favorite, has two favorites. I, I'm a big favorite fan of Live and Let Die, which was my first movie ever that I saw, uh, of a Bond movie. And I, I love From Russia With Love as well. I Good choices. Yeah. Good, uh, thank amazing you. choices, always uh, with a sense of emotion and vulnerability, which is something many of us thought that Bond could never have. But your Bond, your Bond does have that. Would you agree? I hope so. Yeah, I think that's partly because of Daniel. You have to have an actor who's capable of conveying that and all the other things as well. But you know, Ian Fleming created an anti-hero, uh, someone who's capable of good and bad, someone who did was vulnerable and did bad things, he smoked too much, he drank too much, he slept with too many women, he never obeyed authority, and yet he's also heroic. And that's what makes him interesting, is he's both things. And I know you took some of the things of some of the novels that we haven't seen before in, uh, in other movies, certain, certain parts that we're going to see there, and you worked it in with the writers. Yeah, that was definitely me channeling my 12-year-old, uh, and um, there's lots of homages to, to uh, past Bond movies and some of the great Roger Moore movies, some of the Bonds that, that were perhaps a bit more mischievous, a bit more witty than the early films. So we tried to do some of that because I, I feel like also this is, I think, Daniel's best performance as Bond because it's so multifaceted. You know, there's so many different shades to his performance. Um, in the past, he's been very, very serious, but you know, he, he's very warm, he's funny in the movie, he's vulnerable, it's a romantic, there's a love story, and I think he really shows what he can do. Oh, yes, he does. Susana, this morning I had the opportunity to thank Sam for giving me one of the most uh, incredible theater experience seeing Uncle, ba Uncle Bania on the bridge. It was incredible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it's a production I'm very proud of. And, uh, you know, the only sad thing about the theater is once it's gone, it's gone. You know, you never see it again. And the nice thing... It's only on the memory of the audience. Yeah, that's true. And sometimes it's more vivid because of that, you know. But uh, I like... Movies, uh, the nice thing about movies is they remain, and uh, you know, so other generations can see them too. Well, but you've been known to do uh, shows that have been movies that have been uh, plays before, such as The Amazing Cabaret. So there's the movie, but there's your version, and honestly, I cannot forget Alan Cumming yeah. as the MC ever. Well, me neither. You know, he was, uh, he was, you know playing the role off and on for 20 years as well. <laughs> and, uh, but I guarantee I won't be making a musical of Spectre. You have to see it in the cinema. <laughs> you do. Sam, <laughs> we don't want to pressure you because this is a night of celebration, but would you direct another James Bond film in the future? <laughs> You're putting me on the spot here. That's very, very unfair. It's very unfair. I'm so sorry for that question. <laughs> Enjoy. Have a great time. It's a pleasure uh, that you are here in our city, in Mexico City. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks everyone. Thank It's an honor. Thank you. Señores, señores, señor San Méndez, en la noche de estreno de Spectre aquí en la Ciudad de México. Joe, vamos a ver más imágenes.
en lo que esperamos al señor Daniel Craig que nos acompaña esta noche.